Now, I'd like to welcome Alyssa Taylor, Corporate Vice President for Azure and Industry at Microsoft, for a conversation about our partnership and Microsoft's approach to responsible AI. Over the years, we've partnered with Microsoft on Teams, Dynamics 365, and Identity Manager. We are now looking to extend our partnership in the context of generative AI. At Smartsheet, we're very focused on security and the responsible application of AI for our customers. Alyssa, tell me about your strategy for responsible AI and how it's resonating with partners. Absolutely. And first, Mark, thank you so much for having me join today. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with you. And, you know, I'm obviously very excited about the potential of AI, but I'm also equally excited about how Smartsheet is leading in this area and the use cases that you're bringing to your customers. You know, at the core, AI is designed, generative AI in particular, is designed to uncover insights across very complex data sets and processes. And it really, it, it speeds up our ability to learn and get to the knowledge that we need collectively as businesses. And so, you know, Microsoft, we're incredibly optimistic about the benefits of this technology, but equally, as you talked about, we're realistic of the challenges and the responsibility around leading this next generation of AI technologies. And so we, we fundamentally know we can't drive positive impact with technology if people don't trust the technologies or the companies behind them. And so we put a lot of effort into our responsibility to earn the trust of our customers and our partners um, so that you know entities like Smartsheet can feel confident in building with us, that organizations in every industry and in every geography trust their most mission critical data and operations to our platform. We've uh, fundamentally taken an approach to responsible AI that means we stand behind our customers. Your data and your customers' data is their data. Um, it's not used to train any of the foundational models without permission. And it's protected by the most comprehensive enterprise compliance and security controls in the industry. Mm -hmm. Well, th thanks, Alyssa. You know, our enterprise customers are looking to leverage applied AI and they're interested in learning more about the reliability and the accuracy of results that AI generates, as well as the potential of latency issues. These are high performing organizations. What investments are you making to ensure that Azure AI addresses these questions? Absolutely. You know, there's really, uh, there's two parts to this question. So the first is around latency, um, which if you think about latency, it's really addressed in kind of two different dimensions. The first is generative AI models are getting more and more capable and effective. And so we continue to, you know, sort of, you know, focus on that capability and the effectiveness of the models. And then the second is the regional availability of the models within Azure. So today, Azure has a global footprint of over 200 data centers across more than 60 regions. And, you know, we think about the Azure AI services being available across all of those regions. And we've made the Azure OpenAI service available in the US four months ago. And we've already expanded that availability to new regions, including Western Europe, UK, and France. So AI is a top priority for Microsoft, and we are continuing to expand the footprint of the services into more and more regions every single month. So that's the, you know, so how we think about latency. The second part is around reliability and accuracy. And so let's, you know, spend a minute to talk about that. So with you know, all AI systems, it's important to approach the product building efforts with an initial baseline that provides a deep understanding of not just a technology capability, but also the limitations. So the first is how do you solve a problem? You have to understand it. And we're approaching this with the mindset of constant learning. So for about seven years now, we've invested in a cross company program to ensure our AI systems are responsible by design. So we have new products and features to help organizations improve accuracy, both safety, fairness, and explainability across the AI development lifecycle. So let me, I'll just put this into a couple examples. So at Build, which is our big developer conference that we had just a couple months ago, we announced a new capability, which is called um, Azure OpenAI service on your data. And so with this capability, developers can ground the AI models on their own data to help improve the accuracy of the results. We also announced another service, which is called Azure AI Content Safety, which is a content moder uh, moderation platform that uses AI to keep the content safe. So it does this by quickly deleting and flagging offensive or inappropriate content and text 
as well as images. And this creates a better experience for everyone. And so these were two very, very important new services that we brought. And we'll continue to invest in the platform so that the solutions that you're building on, that Smartsheet is building on for your customers, benefit from these, you know, these investments in responsible AI and making sure that we are both improving accuracy and latency. So we've, you know, we've learned from the interest that we're seeing from our customers and from our partners, and we'll continue to invest in making sure that Azure is the best place to build AI workloads. Great. Well, when you talk about expanding into so many regions, it's just another piece of evidence that I think something that we share in common is this notion of putting the customer at the center of everything we do. And like you, we're committed to enabling customers to realize their biggest opportunities with this technology that we're developing, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's the software that is drawing from that infrastructure. So Alyssa, tell me about how this commitment to the customer at the center is reflected in your approach to Azure AI. Absolutely. So at our core, Microsoft designs technology with the end user in mind. It's a, it's a core principle. And we're pretty excited about the potential of AI to fuel new innovations for customers. And, you know, we're seeing these use cases and these benefits in every industry. So we believe that AI will improve productivity and reduce the routine elements in many jobs. It has the potential to help people be more creative in their work and in their personal lives. And we see this with things like GitHub Copilot, um, where you actually have developers that are more productive and they're more satisfied with their job. So that's a great example of where generative AI brings both productivity and really enhances the work experience. And so I think this is a great alignment with the core of what Smartsheet is enabling through your offering. And it's, you know, as you and I were discussing, it's the ability to discover new insights across large data sets that will drive new advances in many, many areas. Um, and so, you know, we're seeing this in healthcare, we're seeing this, you know, in all, all you know, sort of different industry, financial services, healthcare, retail, and, you know, this is, you know, for a parent who has struggled to remember how to help their 13-year-old child through an algebra homework assignment, AI-based assistance is a helpful tutor, you know, at the very fundamental level. And so I know, you know, the thing that I'm so excited about our partnership is that Smartsheet shares a commitment to ensuring that customers can leverage the power of AI in a responsible way. And it's exciting to see customers already applying the next generation AI to very unique challenges and opportunities and delivering really transformational experiences. Speaking of experiences and customers, we have launched a private beta to enable select customers to experience and provide feedback on the capabilities we intend to release at scale in the very near future. With the first Gen AI features we're bringing to market, we are underscoring the importance of data management and security. Alyssa, Microsoft has a strong reputation for data security. How do you ensure this for AI services that Smartsheet is utilizing? Absolutely. And you know, we know that data protection is top of mind for our customers, as it should be. And when we think about Microsoft's AI services, they're underpinned by Microsoft Azure, which employs the most comprehensive enterprise compliance and security controls to protect uh, both you know, customer data as well as all data sets. And so you know, when, you, you, when you say you're using Azure, you are choosing where your data is located. And through our large and you know, very large expanding network of data centers around the globe, Azure allows you to choose from more than 60 regions, as I talked about, linked by one of the largest interconnected networks on the planet, including more than 150 data centers and growing. So no matter where your data is stored, Microsoft does not control or limit the locations from when you, you know, the end users may access, copy, or move customer data. As I talked about, customer data is customer data. Um, and most Azure services enable you to specify the region where your customer data will be stored and processed. So we have state-of-the-art encryption, which Azure protects both data at rest and in transit. And also Azure secures your data using a number of encryption methods, protocols, and algorithms, including double encryption. So when we think about data privacy, we take this pretty seriously, both at the privacy level, the security level, and the data residency applied across all data, um, including all cloud services, or, you know, including our AI, Azure AI services as well. So, you know, this is, you know, we know it's top of mind for our customers and it's something that we aim and strive to have the most comprehensive privacy, security, and residency for all of our Azure AI services. Mm -hmm. So listen, when we pair these fundamental traits to who we are, 
and what our infrastructure represents. You couple that with these AI models that are evolving at a pace unlike we've seen in any other area of technology. So like, what is Microsoft doing to keep pace and remain ahead of that curve in AI innovation and infrastructure? It's a great question. And you know, as the demand for AI continues to grow, our focus on innovation remains unwavering. Like this is top, a top, top priority for the company. So you know, at the core, we're committed to delivering what we call an AI-optimized infrastructure that empowers businesses to unlock the full potential of their compute-intensive workloads. We are prioritizing designing AI infrastructure with the workload as the primary focus. So that ensures seamless integration into all cloud services. And you know, the great thing is, is that our experience handle, handling some of the world's most complex workloads is really a testament to the design goals that we set for performance, scale, and reliability. If you think about it, you know, we have released co-pilots into Microsoft 365, into GitHub, into Dynamics 365. So you know, that really helps us be able to learn as a first party service and then be able to provide that out to our customers. And you know, validation from industry leading AI customers like OpenAI. OpenAI is using Cosmos DB as their you know, cloud scale database to fuel their service um, and learning from them. So this is all of this is feeding how we can drive innovation at scale and really continue to keep up with our customer demand. So, you know, I think at the core, we maintain a steadfast commitment to continual investment in AI to, you know, support all of the unprecedented innovation that's happening in the industry and that we're seeing. And we're continuing investments in the full stack capabilities that are rooted in both, you know, direct feedback that you give us on the service, um, market insights, as well as the broad kind of ecosystem feedback that we get. So, you know, Ultimately, we want to together make sure that our customers and partners can trust that Microsoft is the right AI partner, as we talked about from the responsible AI side, but then also that we have the latest and greatest innovation to bring to bear. Very good. Well, Alyssa, thanks for joining us today. We look forward to continuing this partnership with you going forward as we build these multifaceted AI offerings. And uh, with that, let me hand it over to Noah Edelstein, VP of Product Management, who leads our Gen AI initiative to share more about the capabilities we're building in Smartsheet. Thank you.